Thanks to the supporters and channel member Chris P. I asked for one thing. Hello and welcome to part 85 of Homegrown. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have our first two games of the new championship season. We're at home against Crew and away against Cardiff. If you missed yesterday's transfer special, you should go back and watch it. But the big headline coming out of that is we've gone from having two of the best young goalkeepers in the country to none of the best goalkeepers in the country. Obviously, with Stephen Reid going to Watford for seven and a half million back in January. And now Alex Williams has gone to Crystal Palace for £11.25 million. And the most upsetting thing about it all is this is Crystal Palace, who are also in the championship. He is a divisional rival for us this year. So he's gone. Jack Green, the young goalkeeper we brought in from Liverpool back in January when Reid left, is going to be our number one this season. And we'll just have to see how that turns out for us. It's the only downgrade on the squad, really. Other than that, I think it is a very good squad. Um, the media still think 18th place, despite us finishing on a record high number of points for a non-promoted team last year with 99 points and our third place finish. Weirdly, Williams is still not the best goalkeeper in the division, according to the media Dream 11. And um, Watford, who've just been relegated from the Premier League. So that's Reed is going to be their backup, presumably, unless they've sold their main goalkeeper, having been relegated. No, so Reed doesn't even sit on their bench, but they wouldn't loan him to us. Ridiculous. Um, but we're going to have Reed and Williams both in this league with us this year, um, both newly relegated sides from the Premier League. It's uh, it's going to be a tricky one to get out of. We need to we need a strong start and hope that these young players that we brought in over the last six months or so cut the mustard. This is our team for the first day of the new season. It is a very new look team, not necessarily because of lots of players we've signed just now, but because... Compare this to the team from the first day of last season and the I imagine the only player who survived, I guess, Barr, Davies, Renan, Roberts probably played on the first day of last year. Other than that, it has been a huge turnover of players for a homegrown save in just a 12-month period. And I hope these are the boys who are going to take us to the Premier League. And um, so today we are going with Green in goal, a back four of Francis, Davies, Barr and Santa Maria. And um, this is Fabio Santa Maria. We signed him in January to be our new right back. Um, Brewerton's now gone. He is our new right back. Um, Nathan Curry might end up uh, coming into the team in his place at some point, but him along with Alec Lay is suspended. McCartan is injured. Hodgkinson's injured. Hamilton's injured. We uh, we're not getting much choice in the selection of players that we're playing today with the injuries and suspensions that we've got going on. Um, hence Adam Blamplate starting for us in central midfield alongside Akani, because we don't really have another option in there. I guess we could give a debut to Ernie Grucock, uh, but it seems a little bit soon for him to be starting games. So Blamplate can come in for now alongside Akani. Grucock will probably feature today, though. And then we're going to have Renan over on the left, Roberts, Alibasic on the right wing, and Costa Bile up front. Let's, uh, let's go beat Crew. We've got to go and beat Crew. We have to start well. We saw last season how crucial the odd point here and there can be. We do not want to be in the playoffs again. We've tried and failed at the championship playoffs twice in the last three years. We do not want to go up through the playoffs. I mean, if we'll take it if it's offered, but we showed last year, finishing on 99 points, one point off of the title, we have got what it takes to win this league. We just got to go and do it now. And it's going to be that bit harder without Williams and that bit harder with Watford and Crystal Palace now in this league because they are a different kettle of fish from the teams we were competing with for promotion last year. Um, Fulham are still knocking around the place as well. I think West Ham went up through the playoffs in the end. But Fulham are obviously the team who knocked us out of the playoffs. Is uh, It feels like a harder division than it was this time last year. And of course, remember the last time we failed in the playoffs, we then ended up having the horror season that led to this complete revamp of the squad, uh, which led to us finishing the bottom half of the table. We don't want a repeat of that. But that first half, we have done nothing. It is nil-nil at half time. We need to create... In fact, we were supposed to take Francis off at half time because he was only fit to play half a game. So Perozzi can come on and make his debut at left-back, our young American left-back who came in in the summer. And um, Lots and lots of 
18, 19 year olds in this team, probably more so than in the very early days when we were down in non league. Um, Ali Basic on the right hand side crosses to Costa Bile, but he can't get, get any kind of direction on the header. And Davies heads it forward to Renan, who also can't really get a hold of the ball. Um, Crew have given the ball away there to Renan now on the left-hand side, and hopefully we can conjure something up and get the ball moving forward. Davies lumps it forward to Costa Bile, and it falls to Blamplate in midfield. Big opportunity for Blamplate today to not necessarily show me he should be starting in central midfield, but give me a reason to start him ahead of Connor Roberts as our attacking midfielder, maybe. Cross looking for Costa Bile is too long, um, but it's back to Perozzi, and then Renan. Renan was in a good position there, but couldn't get the shot away, and somehow that's not led to a corner, which I'm not really sure on what planet that wasn't a corner. Renan hasn't just kicked it out for a goal kick. He's not a madman. Um, right, what have we got on the bench? You can come on and change the game. I think we are going to have a look at Grucock, but we're going to bring him on for Roberts, and we are going to give uh, Blamplate the opportunity to play a little bit further forward, which means Grucock can then come in here as the ball-winning midfielder we signed him to be, and Akani can be the playmaker. And then for the last change... I think we are going to get Onyango on, on this right-hand side, playing as that inverted winger. We're going to go attacking. We're, we're the home side. We know we're better than Crew. We've got to win this game, so let's go attack him. Encourage the boys to get the ball forward and just cross our fingers that this isn't the start of another horror season. We've been in the championship four years already. This is our fifth season in this league. If we're ever going to make it to the Premier League, it was probably last season, to be honest, because without Williams, it's going to be a lot harder. But excuses all you like. Alex Williams didn't cause us to not score a goal in that game. Jack Green's come in and kept a clean sheet. It's the players further forward that haven't scored. And it is, I mean, it's rare we've had to put a team out without Curry, without Hodgkinson, without Hamilton. We need some of these, some of our more experienced players back in this side quick. But like I say, injuries and suspensions are problematic at the start of this new season. Right, a couple of changes for the Cardiff game as a few of those players do make it back into the team. Nathan Curry coming in at right back here and Hodgkinson in midfield alongside Akani and Hamilton coming back in on the left so Renan can move over onto the right. Good to have some of these boys back involved and hopefully they'll come in and be difference makers. We need to give a squad number. Oh, a squad number to Kaita. That's fair enough. He can have his squad number and um, just would like a goal, please. If we uh, if we struggle to get a goal past this lot as well, they're managed by Sergei Rebrov, I've just noticed. Um, but if we don't score here, then I'm going to start to worry a little bit. Costa Bile was in fantastic form before the playoffs when he got injured and then the lack of him in the team meant we didn't really have a goal threat in the playoffs. But he scored, I think, seven in his, la in his last 10 games of the season. He was in excellent form. We need him to carry on in that kind of form now. We need Renan to be the goal-scoring powerhouse that he was last year. And I am already starting to worry a little bit. Alex Williams was a leader. He was our vice-captain. And he was a better goalkeeper than Green and might have saved this. Because the amount of times we saw saves that he had no right making. Now we've just got a normal human goalkeeper with a number one on his back. It's just not the same. Right, well, we've got a score now, gentlemen. If one of you could uh, sort yourselves out, get the ball forward, maybe it's you, Kieran. Plays it forward to Costa Bile. And now Renan, back on the right-hand side today, where he loves to play so much. Um, Renan, a little bit tricky here, but has ended up basically outthinking himself. He's tackled himself there almost. Davies wins the ball, though, and plays it forward to Akani Hamilton. Now slotting it through to Costa Bile, who really should have turned and run onto that rather than looking to play... Hamilton back in. I can see what he was trying to do, but he had an opportunity there. And Akani's just given the ball away very sloppily in midfield. And we can't get away with stuff like that anymore because we don't have Alex Williams in goal anymore. Luckily, that time they shot wide. But this has been a pretty poor start to the season for us so far. And we're having to scroll down to find ourselves. And that's not good. Why is Harrison Davies taking a free kick? I've never, in all of his years, I've never seen him take a free kick. Is this a new string he's added to his bow? Or does it just mean I haven't set my set-piece takers up properly? I suspect it's probably the latter. 
He's, he's probably the only player still in the side from that. Although, to be fair, Nathan Curry should be taking free kicks. We've seen him score loads over the years. Why he didn't take that one, I do not know. Um, right, we are going to need to mix something up at halftime here because we are not looking like any kind of threat going forward. Curry um, on the right-hand side, just running around in circles, really. Ball forward from... Hodgkinson looking for Costa Bile but can't find him. Curry now again playing it forward for Costa Bile and again the defenders just got him in his pocket at the moment. Renan playing it across to Akani back to Hodgkinson and then Akani again. Akani ball over the top for Costa Bile who's in here. That is disallowed for offside. I thought he'd beat the offside trap because he's so quick but maybe he didn't quite. Okay, he didn't get anywhere near did he? Um... <laughs> Oh dear. I mean, he showed a little flash of what he's got in him, though. It's a lovely finish. Just needs to be a little bit smarter about keeping himself on side. Um, right, we're going to point the finger. We are going to go attack him. And I can't remember where that button is. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. And the bench doesn't inspire me at the moment. I think we need a real top tier attacking player who can come in and play on either wing, play up front. They're easy to find, aren't they? I mean, if you've been watching my stream saves over at my stream save over on Twitch, in the championship, or as we hit the Premier League with Sheffield United in there, we found a brilliant Wonder Kid striker. Why can't we have something like that? Simon Patton we found in the in the non league legend save this year. Anything like that would be perfect. We just we're not big enough to bring that kind of player in, I don't think. I think that's the problem. Right, we're gonna bring Hamilton off. And Onyango is going to come on on this right hand side again. It allows Renan to go over to the left. Um, I think we are going to bring on. Is Mackenzie Fulton fit? I feel like he might not have been fully fit. Um, fit enough to give him a go. So he's going to come on up front for Costa Bile. And for my fight, I think, you know what? We'll bring Blamplate on as well. And we'll try him in there again because Roberts. Compared to his start last season when he exploded into the team and then went off the boil, and I didn't really notice. Um, he seems to have just started still off the boil this season. So there's an opportunity here for Blamplate, like I said in the last match. Um, Akani now across to Hodgkinson. Hodgkin of course, Hodgkinson was, was in my plans to play as an attacking midfielder. We should probably reconsider that again. On Yango, this is a good run from him. He's just had the ball taken off the tip of his toe there. And now Curry back to Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson plays it into Fulton. And that's disallowed as well. That's both of our young strikers have had goals disallowed for offside. It feels like there's a goal coming. It just might not be in the first two games of the season. There's three of them offside there. There's no excuse for that. That's just poor. Um, oh, dear. What a difference selling your goalkeeper makes. Curry. Um, poor throw. Barr is coming across to try and get the ball forward again. 85 minutes on the clock. We desperately need an equaliser. And it's Curry on the right-hand side. Back into Blam play. On Yango now to Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson plays it into Renan. Must score. But doesn't. An excellent save from the Cardiff goalkeeper. Once again, we don't seem to have got a corner off the back of it. Remember when we used to get corners? Those were the days. Oh... Mrs. Wearmouth has ruined us by selling Alex Williams. We might never recover from it. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.